Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. This is the complete tutorial of how to get funded and how to get initial coins for gas in any chain. If this story sounds familiar for you, where you got paid, let's say, in USDC in Arbitrum or Avalanche or Binance Smart Chain or Optimism Chain, but you don't have native currency for transaction fees so you cannot actually send these funds and access them because you don't have ETH on Optimism or ETH on Arbitrum or BNB on BSC then this guide is completely for you and this is the complete solution for you to get funded in this exact blockchain so you can actually access the fund so in other words this is the all-in-one tutorials how to get native currency and fees or in any blockchain so without further ado let's get started So let's say you have ETH on Ethereum and you have some USDC on Ethereum and then you got paid on Optimism. You got paid USDC, someone paid you money, but now you cannot send this USDC because you don't have ETH and because in Optimism you need ETH to pay transaction fees. So this USDC is literally stuck. Or let's take another example. You have money on Polygon, you have ETH on Polygon and you have USDC on Polygon and someone paid you BUSD or USDT on BNB chain, on Binance Smart Chain and you don't have BNB in the same wallet so you cannot actually access the funds. What do you do? Now the answer and the magic is symbiosis.finance and I'm going to show you now how to use it to fund to fund any wallet in any other chain for the native currency and also bridge funds from one chain to another to initiate the wallet in this chain. So this is Symbiosis Finance and as you can see it allows you to swap tokens across multiple chains both EVM chains and also other chains like Tron and I think also native Bitcoin but I'm not sure which is a great way to switch wrap BTC to Bitcoin if it supports Bitcoin or maybe you want to move your USDT on Ethereum to Tron on USDT because you need it in Tron, for example. So this is exactly for you. You can see that it's a cross-chain AMM DEX. So they have liquidity on different chains and they allow you to basically swap, make swap cross-chain swaps and get tokens and coins in any chains that they support. So you click here to go to swap and then you connect your wallet. You can see that my wallet is already connected. So let's say that you have money on Optimism and you just got paid some USDC and you received some USDC on Arbitrum, but you don't have ETH on Arbitrum and you cannot access this USDC. You're basically stuck. You cannot initiate transactions. So what you do, you come here to the transfer from, you select here Optimism and you can see that I have some USDC on Optimism. So I'm just going to select here USDC with Optimism. On the left side, you can see all the blockchains. I can also filter by blockchain. So I select here USDC on Optimism. And let's say that I want to just swap $100 from USDC on Optimism to ETH on Arbitrum. And you can see that automatically here, I selected Arbitrum over here, Arbitrum chain, and then ETH. And you can see here that I'm going to receive for my $100 0.027 ETH, which is awesome, right? So if I don't have ETH on Arbitrum, now I'm going to have it. And another super cool feature is that you can tick here this button and you can receive the ETH on a different address. So you can basically swap your USDC on Optimism from wallet A and receive ETH on Arbitrum on wallet B. This is super cool and easy to use and the UX is incredible. Unlike other bridges where you have to submit here the swap and the bridge and also call a redeem transaction on the receiver account, you don't have to do it. You only have one transaction from the source wallet and that's it. You know, every time I use bridges, I almost get heart attack because, you know, the UX is horrible and you have to pray that you will receive the funds and sometimes it's wrapped funds without liquidity. You don't have this problem here. You're just going to send one transaction from the source chain using your wallet and magically the money will appear in the other wallet in the destination chain in any tokens that you might choose. I want to send the funds to the same wallet so I'm just going to remove this tick over here and here you can see the summary of the swap and all the fees that you're going to pay on the way. So you can see that right now one ETH 
uh, cost $3,700 and we put a slippage to 2%. So there might be fluctuations of 2%, but usually you get very good rate on the destination chain. Depends on how much liquidity they have on the pools. And this is the minimum amount that you're going to receive on the destination chain. And this is how much wrapped if you're going to send from the source chain. Now you can adjust the slippage over here and adjust also the deadline. So you can put 1%, you can put 0.5%. Depends on you and also the deadline. And they also have some kind of discount if you hold their token or stake it at something. Something I don't like it. I just just gonna get the swap without anything. And this is the actual fee that you're gonna pay. This is so freaking low for cross-chain bridging, and especially it gives you the native currency to so you can start using this wallet less than half percent. This is incredible. So the next thing that you want to do is to approve here the token that you're going to spend and, and bridge the other chain. I'm going to submit the transaction. Now, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to do the bridge right now. But once you approve it, then the next transaction is going to be swap. And that's it. It's done. You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to redeem the tokens in the other chain. Magically, the tokens, the ETH, the native ETH will appear in your Arbitrum chain wallet. And that's it. You're done. So this was the tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or any feedback. Maybe, you know, other cool cross-chain swap tools, other cool cross-chain bridges tools that can help you get funded on a new chain with your wallet. Feel free to share it in the comments below. Ask any questions you might have. And if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing DeFi tutorials. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.